Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Icarus for day three. Um, last session, we managed to get our bed going and uh, oxidizer. Um, some of the things unlocked were bone weapons. Let's go this way. Um, the fire whacker, so if uh, we, my building got on fire, I could put the flames out. Um, and some bone weapons, which help us. Um, or, or better quality than just the plain wooden weapons. I want to build a drying rack as well, I think. Uh, I just realised I've got that. Crafting. Drying rack. The drying rack, the drying rack allows you to dry out certain meats to get a better bonus from them. It also allows you to dry out some other products like leather and things like that with certain other materials. Um, so let's get that down. It, it does take up quite a bit of space, that's the only thing. As you can see, it's quite big, so I'm going to stick it. Let's stick it just over here. It's not the idea, no, it's not in the right place. I'll stick it here. I'm going to expand my building today anyway, so... So by clicking on there, you can see what you can dry on here. So things like um, rhubarb can be dried, um, freshwater fillets, which you need by fishing, uh, saltwater fillets, again, you got it by fishing, Avocado, basic meat now can be actually dried on here. It never used to be able to, and then various other meats. Um, let's take a drink. We managed to find a sponge last time as well, which now allows us to uh, fill up our sponge with water from our water purifiers, so we now have some uh, fresh water when we go out. Um, for those of you who didn't see the last session, I, I a lot of stuff I cleared out in the first video has come back. So the main thing being, it's bloody great rock. <laughs> I mined that away to nothing, and now it's reappeared again. <laughs> good in the fact that I can get lots of rock from again from it, but um, not so good when I'm trying to clear an area so I can expand my base. Which is the plan for today. I want to add... Um, I want to take my room out one more deep. And maybe... How many got here at the moment? One, two, three... At least one wider. So, how many of those can be built? One. What about... Do I need to build more than one? Wood. Well, we've got plenty of wood. How many can I build now? No, I don't need 17. Let's build 10. Let's build 11, because I've got one. Right, and that one is here. can go down at my inventory, on my hotbar. Um, yeah, it's tied to that now. Um, let's see if I can move away from here, see if it does it. As you can see, I can place this anywhere at the minute, but if I want to snap to my building... I come up my building and, and snap it to one of these, and now it is snapped into the grid pattern, and I can place these properly. I think I covered that last time, but just cover it again. Where'd that one go? Oh, there. How many have we got left? Three. No. One. Two, three, I need one more, so I press eight, so already had a number eight, I can do that in places. Right, I now need one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten floors. I certainly don't have enough to make them. There'll be wood again, I imagine, yeah. So let's just go and lop some trees down. Not towards a bit. Yeah, bet you and all. Oh, that's clever. He fell through a rock. Oh, oh that's because they're in the rock. 
physics took over. Or well, the game engine caught up with itself. Yeah, 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 stop dancing. Chop a few of these up so I can start making some more flooring. How many do I need? Ten. How many to make now? Six. So I need another three. This is quite a big tree. Alright. Make another three, no two. I need a bit more wood. Whoa! That nearly got me. I don't know how many new space nerds are out right there, but I don't know if you watched the uh, IFT um, for Starship on Thursday. Um, I was quite impressed with that. I thought it did really well, the Starship, on a full flight. Actually managing to do the flip manoeuvre and come down engine first into the sea after the... Uh, one little winglet to take so much damage, damage was very impressive. Um, hats off the engineers at uh, SpaceX for that. That was a phenomenal thing to watch. Shame the camera got a bit um, gunked up, but hey, doesn't detract from the work they've done. Which way are these going? Left to right. Left to right. Left to right, left to right, left to right. Okay. Now I need some walls. So I've got those two walls. So I need one, two, three more walls. But then I do need some roof. Which means I need more wood, again. It's quite rapidly depopulating this island. Oh, my axe broke. <coughs> I remember the first time I played this game, uh, when it was in early access. And uh, I came up with the dropship, I didn't know what to do. That wasn't anything about the game, it was really just after being released in early access. And um, one of the first things that happened to me was a wolf attacked me and killed me. <laughs> I was like, what on earth? And the next time I built a. Um, I'm going to have to get that wolf in a bit, it's annoying me. I built one of these crates outside, and of course, outside they suffer from degradation. From the environment, you've got to build them inside to keep them. Where's El Wolfo? There he is. Got him without even seeing him. So, yeah, um, it was very challenging to begin with. Obviously, they've tweaked things since then as well. and I know how to play the game now rather when back then I didn't. I was literally fumbling around trying to work out what to do. Right, um flooring um Let's take you you down with a Y T you Want the walls here. Oh, that would look good. Eight, 
Um, he can be a normal wall. He can be a normal wall. He can be a window. Normal wall. Normal wall. But I need one more wall. Um, roof. can be solid wall solid wall window do you want the window there? yes I do yeah. so I need one, two, three three walls so I just take that my torch is burnt out so I need to make a new one Build three walls. Actually, I'm going to take you down because I want you to be a solid wall, solid wall window and there we go so we just increase the size of our base now I'm going to pick us up now got a bit more space in here and move this over here out the way and I have some meat on me so I can go on there oh, not to cook meat don't want to put the cooking on there raw meat there we go I do want to eat that oh. And that. Don't think there's anything in this one, no. So you where are you? You're there, you can go here and I will put animal bits in there so leather and fur and bones let's take all that that up if you press left control and left shift at the same time and click on an item it transfers everything of that item into the uh, whatever it is you're transferring it across to uh, so that's all that it's food I'll keep you on you but you can go in there as well take all this I can't the matter even if you can't take everything if you pick a trest up it drops a little crate oh yeah so I've got nothing there um let's see it drop something drop drop there we go so I can pick that up and I can put you there and then put you beside this one I'll just keep them all together for now Fibre sticks and uh, fibre and sticks will do by the looks of it. Although I will keep some fibre on me. Food down the bottom, sticks up the top. Fibre sticks down, uh, wood, sorry. Take 
take that and I can just do the same with this hold on, I can just oh no, I can probably take everything out of here I can, yeah, and then pick it up and I'll forget new so this is just doing a bit of sorting out just so uh, it doesn't get on top of me later because sometimes you can get a right mess so you've got Oh, don't want the oxide in there. We will stick some more sticks in there. Oxide stone can go in there. That can go in the fire. Um, seeds can go in there, along with the spoiled food and the soil, which I can't use. And just because I've got nowhere else to put all this. I keep one of them actually. No, I've got one at the top. I can go in, I can uh, I can go in there, uh, I can go in there, uh, and I can go in there. Uh. There we go, right, talent points. What talents do we want? We have another three talent points. Um, I could do the large chest because that's just useful. I'm not interested in the flame arrow or fire arrows, anything like that. Um, I could probably do that because I get caught by a bear. I could possibly need a suture kit. What's this one? Oh, that's a new one on me as well. I'm going to take one of them. Just have a look at it, if nothing else. Um, seed pouch, don't need that. Cloth chest armour. Cloth bone chest armour. So that's 8 physical resistance. That's 4. So that one's a better one, so I'll get that as well. Talents. Um, just keep increasing our um, decay rate. Or reducing our decay rate even, but I will also take um, lumber yield so I get more wood when I um, cut trees. And our last solo point, what do we want that on? So that is increased base stamina by 20%. Perfect. Right, okay, so what do we need to make some armour? 60 bone, 15 leather. That's a new. There's the leather, there's the bone. Let's craft that. And that should have gone straight into our body, there we go. So now it's given a bit of protection. I am out of water, I need to go and take drink some water. jump up there. Right, so that was that. What was the other thing I didn't... What was the other thing I got? Uh, big chests. Craft a couple of those. Here. I don't like my bed just being a bit <laughs> sort of lost in the floor there, but it'll do for now. You know what? I'll get the um, fire pit going, which is the next sort of upgrade to the fire. It will do. Okay, so now we can just drop more bits off if needed. Okay, so we've got plenty of storage. We've got some basic cooked meat. So dried meat. We fit healthy fed water, plenty of uh, 
oxygen and what have you. Uh, we got arrows. How many arrows have we got? 14 bone arrows. Okay, let's not worry about that. Is there a storm coming in? No. Right, let's go and do a little bit of exploring. There's some more sulfur there, we've got to remember that. Oh, it's Tyrannus over there. Can I get him from here, do you think? Keep your head still. No. Here's the answer. Oh, go away. Oh no, I hit him. <laughs> Come on. Swim, 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 swim. Perfect. Except for the six, seven arrows I wasted. Um, you can't actually pick these horses up to take them back to your base. Some of the small animals, you can take them back to your base when you get a skinning bench. And uh, take them apart on the skinning bench, you get more for them. Um, come here, little fishy. No, you don't want to come to daddy. Come to daddy. It's going to be lunch. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, I was saying, yeah, once you get a skinning bench, you can do more with it. You can do more with the, the animals you, you get them kill. But the, the bigger ones, you can't actually pick them up. So you can't take them back to your base. So I was... Did I lock and lock that concoction? Yes, I need salt and oxide. So here's some salt. And we found a deep main mining vein with salt yeah, not far from my base so again salt was originally only it wasn't in the original game to be fair but it was uh, added after the game was released you can use it for um, preserving foods I never really bother if I'm honest so they've now found another use for it which is making a, a concoction and this is what the Degs rocket works do, the guys that uh, make this game. Uh, it's a silica, so this is like um, what you used to make glass. Sand, basically. Sandstone. We'll have some of this. So yeah, the guys at rocket works who make the games are forever developing it. Adding more and more things. Um, it, it just means you can come back and play the game again. And things have changed, you know, and it makes it more interesting. It'd be um, sad if the game was the same. It would be sad if the game was the same every time you played it, you know. And even since the last time I played a couple of months ago, it's changed quite a bit. I'm just tanking, just let that recover. It's always worth just keeping an eye out for bears or terror horses or wolves or anything else. Um, yeah, I mean, this wasn't originally a survival sandbox, this game. It was more a mission based game, but I think over time it's turn more into a um, sandbox survival. There are missions in the game, but they've now been incorporated into the sandbox side of it. And when the game was first released, you had time limits on the missions. 
even the, the clock didn't stop, even when you logged off the clock didn't stop. And I, got, I kind of got fed up with that almost because I lost too many characters uh, doing things like that, so I am, um, yeah, I'm looking for it now. Oh, my axe is broken. Still got that water container there, don't we? Okay. Uh, oxide never goes to waste. Oxide. Yeah, it is oxide. It never goes to waste. Many you know it's a sulfur, really. Sometimes it's current currently. All this thing is. Um, Sulfur is good for torches in the early game, later on it's used for making gunpowder. Oxide has a number of uses. Um, obviously you can use it as concoction now, as well as uh, helping you to breathe and um, some other bits later in the game. Which I can't let me remember off the top of my head. It's gone now. Okay, how are we doing? Um, have I got space for one of these? Let's craft one. And just keep it on us, just to be on the safe side. Uh, that can go away. I can go back in my inventory up there. Okay. Um, yeah, you can interact with most things in the game. I mean, these plants here, they, you get yeast from them for making other things. Um, these flowers, you get, you can make them, harvest them for making other things. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, the gauze flowers, which are these yellow ones. Um, they're useful for other things. Obviously, all the trees, the plants, uh, the... Oh, what's that? What is that one? What does it say? Deep mining ore deposit copper. Awesome. That is really useful. Now where is that one? The other one was over there. This one's here. Got to try and remember that. Opposite ends of the... Yeah, I can't put a pin down. Opposite ends of the island. On the mainland. Shame there's nothing I can do to... Oh, what can I do to help me find it again? Something that would be permanent. I can't at the moment. If I developed stone, I could put a stone... Um, pillar up so know where it was but I don't have stone technology yet uh, when do I get stone no so it's tier 2 stone it says a lot more things than this one yeah so I need to be at least level yeah well I need the masonry bench level 15 so I'm a long way from that, yeah. For now, we just keep uh, building out a base, doing what we can, hunting, gathering resources. So all things that will become useful later on. I don't know if there's a mine down in this one or a cave. Let's just take a haul back to our um, hood for now. And store some of it. And when you go in the water, it's like my torch is on there, so if I go in the water... The torch goes out. Go away. Got you before you got me. So yeah, my torch went out when I went in the water. 
And you can tell because down the bottom left hand side of the hot bar there is a little torch icon and has a yellow star on it when it's lit. Which is quite useful. So oxide, stone and ceramic, you know, um, silica and sulfur can all go in here. Basically just so the oxide is close at hand next to the oxidizer there. Salt. You don't want to stick salt in here as well. It's a stone. It came from a stone node, didn't it? Let's cook you. Actually, I don't want to cook you. I want to cook you. You can go in here. I don't know if I can put leather in here yet or not. Um. Ah, no, I need the tree sap. So once you have leather and tree sap, for tree sap you need the pestle and mortar. You can make cured leather, which can be useful for things. And that is tech level one. I thought I could be wrong. It's not unheard of. Rustic sign pack. So I could do with that later on, I guess, to put by those um, deep mining nodes. What's that? I don't mind. Oh no, so it's, it's level 2. Is it level 2 really? I all thought level 1 now. Yeah, there it is. Morton Pestle. Okay, oh well. I'll just have to keep going. What level are we at at the moment? 6 and about halfway there. So we need to go and try and get our XP up a bit more. It is 4.15 in the afternoon. Where are we? So we are there. Which way do I want to go? Let's head up this river. is there. There's a deer there. In the water again. Why do you always fall in the water? Anyway, I wanted to get some more food, some more hide, some more bone. Take the berries. Oh, there isn't a river here. I thought that was a river from over there. Where's the river? Is there a river over here? Or am I just imagining things? Why don't I look them up? Oh no, of course there's not a river. Oh, my land of crafts up there, isn't it? The river's coming from the glacier over there. Let's head this way for a bit. See what we can find. I just saw him in time. Hunting gets your experience up a lot quicker than just about anything else. Um, so it is a good way to XP harvest. And, you know, especially when you're out and just trying to look around and work out what's going on where. Got him. Oh, I'm out of oxygen, I'm out of oxygen.
I started to see a little dizzy symbol, which meant I was uh, getting low on something. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and chop up, either find some oxide or some over there. Oh, my stamina's tanked. Let's grab this. Oh, Alright, it's only rain, but I will have to get into shelter. Okay, so scratch the exploration. We need to go and find some shelter. Because the wind and rain is coming. I can hear the wind picking up. Oxygen low again. Sit down there. the landscape. This may be terminal. Oh no, there we go. I got the free. Ready for the funky branches? There we go, look at that. <laughs> oh no, some of them fell through the um, scenery. Let's just head back in. The wind's going to bring a load of trees down anyway. We're safer in here. Right, more furs. Look at that. I got, couldn't get find any furs before now, but too many. Um, oxide. Let's take a puff and put the rest in here. Same as stone. You can go on the fire to make charcoal. Take this fishy bits and the meat. And that and that can go on there. Oh I need stone. Everything's fully repaired. I've got stone back in there. I'm just waiting for the damage to come when that little red bar, if I get it so you can see it, hits the left hand side. That's when the wind will really pick up and I will start to suffer damage in my base. Yeah, you can see these 120s popping up, that's a damage to the base. As long as something isn't completely destroyed, you can uh, repair it. past the worst of the storm now. Once I get past those two little clouds it'll be pretty much over.
Obviously the bigger your base and more walls you have to repair. The flooring doesn't get damaged by the storms obviously because it's uh, a floor. But the wind doesn't get to it. But the walls and the ceiling well. Yes, there's uh, repair. Okay, 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 repairing. Okay. Oh. Hammer's broken again, repair that, and I can repair the last ceiling, and that should be everything fixed. I can hear you, Wolf, I can't see you, but I can hear you. Yeah, the, the storm brings down to trees, so it's always worth can't harvesting the wood. It's easy wood. Because um, once it's just spawned, it's gone. Out of the game. Unless it miraculously appears somehow, as that stone over there did. Hit the wood, not the stones. Another tree has been brought down. <laughs> and now we're back to pretty much normal weather now, but it's nice. Yeah, the sun hits the left hand side, that means the storm's over. And you can see, I don't know if that's a moon or this, we're on a moon orbiting another planet. That looks quite impressive as well though, looks quite good. So um, I think I'm going to leave it there for today guys, that's the uh, end of day three. Um, we're just about to go to bed and wake up on day four. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. Please leave any comments below. Uh, I do have a Patreon page if you'd like to support me. And I'll catch you next time. It's Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night.